Hello everyone, it's Alex the Boss of the Rules class. I'm going to introduce you a book called Immune by Philip Detmer, A Journey into the Mysterious System that Keeps You Alive. The creator of Kurt Zerzak in a nutshell. Okay, so this is part two. Well, in part one, I introduced you about the immune system, but today I'm going to introduce you what will happen if a bacteria comes into our bodies. But first, we need to know what this is. Well, this is our skin. And right, right now, when you look at your skin, this is... Well, the cells that are already dead. Well, the alive cells are inside, and the dead cells are right now the surface of your cells. So viruses that have to go into alive cells to, to replicate isn't a very good option as going through the skin. But bacteria can. Okay, so one day you are at a factory, and so then you get a cut from a rusty nail, and then bacteria comes in. Also, because bacteria came out, I'll also introduce you about our enemies, which there are viruses, bacteria, and also parasitic worms. Okay, let's go back. So, these bacteria starts to replicate, and then when it gets to, uh, well, a, well, a moment when there are a lot of bacteria, it starts to attack the body. So that's when the macrophages come. These macrophages can eat almost 100 of these bacteria. First, they just grab the bacteria and then eat it. And then they make a trap, a jail of the bacteria. Then they make acids come in, they eat it up. And then the parts that the macrophage couldn't eat, he well, takes it out of his body. And then when it comes out, other cells will eat that because, well, it's a very good nutrient. Okay, so then when the macrophages couldn't win and there's too many bacteria, the neutrophiles come. The neutrophiles are like a suicide bomb. They uh, can kill very good. They just stay there to, well, kill. They go and they kill all of these bacteria. And when they get suicide, they let out a net which could kill the bacteria. But then even though they don't have DNA, they still well, kind of move like zombies. Okay. So, the neutrophiles have come, and now the complement system came. Well, the complement system is actually a very, well, good thing in our immune system, but, well, not many people know about them. Well, the complement system has many, well, things, but, well, the most, well, easiest is the C3, turning into C3B and C3A, and then turn then C3B turning into a three, C3 convertus and then also making the, well, membrane complex. Okay, oh, well, I have a di different video about that, so stop out. And so, well, this is the complement system. So this complement system helps us and this can stop an invasion of bacteria. But if that doesn't work, the dendritic cells, the commander, have to come. Well, while the macrophages and the neutrophiles are fighting with the bacteria, the dendritic cells come and take parts of it the bacteria and put it in a hot dog bun on their well list well surface and then it takes the lymphatic system and goes to well lymph nodes and in the lymph nodes what's there well the t-cells 
cells. But before we get down, let's find out about T cells. Well, T cells first take their thymus. Well, they have to well take over that process to become a virgin T cell that can became become a well help a T cell and yeah. So to do that. They have to take the murder university of the thymus. They're doing this because of their parents, but secondly, they have to be alive. If they don't pass this murder university, they die. Okay, so only two percent can go through the thymus. Oh, a. Pretty sad, but that's uh, well. Uh, that system makes us alive. Okay, so the dendritic cells uh, finds uh, the right T cell, but how can they have a right T cell? Because they aren't immune with this bacteria. It's uh, there first, but then how do they have it? Well, our immune system has a library of every bacteria and viruses and parasitic worms in the universe, and even bacteria thirty years ago. And well, this is because of some kind of DNA, and so that can make many possibilities. And that's why we have a great library of every bacteria, every virus, and every parasitic worm. Well, that's great. Okay, so like that. The virgin T cell that's exactly right becomes a helper T cell. Well,、uh, then they split into half. The half goes to the battlefield and help out the macrophages by wakening them up, and also the neutrophils, and also help. Then the other half goes to the B cells. Okay, let's go to the B cells now. Well,、uh, pre B cells turn into well virgin B cells again, and then antigens that are in our bodies get to them, and they can be activated as a B cell. And during this B cell, and can be activated by the T cells, they become a B cell. And then after the infection, it becomes a memory B cell. But if it gets activated by a T cell, it can become a plasma cell, and after the infection, it can become a long-lived plasma cell. So the virgin T cell goes and activates it, so it became a plasma cell. Right now at the battlefield, they are fighting, and then now the antibodies have come. Well, antibodies have many well kinds. There's the IgE, IgM, IgA, and yeah. So these antibodies are all have their right to well. Place to sue, well use, and so like that, bacteria infection done. Okay, today I introduced you a book called Immune by Philip Detmer, a journey into the mysterious system that keeps you alive. Creator of Kurtz and Acton and Nutshell. And next time I'll come with the next part, and next time I'll come with a different、uh, world book. <laughs> bye bye, and see you next time.